you like my content, click subscribe and hit the notification button if you want regular updates on my uploads. Okay, today we're going to do something a little different. This is unscripted. I'm going to rank the Arkham games and why I don't like them. So, or some stuff that I do like, of course, but we're going to talk about that. And <clears throat> the one that's going to number one, the first one we're going to do is Arkham Asylum. How am I going to rank this one? Well, I remember it being really good, the combat was fun, the story was great, Batman was a consistent character. I feel like in City and the later games he started kind of becoming a little edgy and, and kind of grouchy and old man-ish even though like really he's like a cantankerous old man, like doesn't fit the character of Batman. Honestly an edgy emo kid would be a better analogy. I was not a fan of City's version of Batman. I loved the Asylum's environments. I loved its gameplay. I loved how they incorporated stealth. I loved the gadgets. I love pretty much everything about Arkham Asylum. I loved Scarecrow. I loved Joker. Scarecrow segments were really good. They had kind of like fear mechanics. They, you know, they had this kind of cool looking floating kind of island type thing. It wasn't an island, but it was like floating parts of the asylum that you had to crawl through and like run past. It was really cool. And I ended up kind of sucking at that. So honestly, a lot of people rate Asylum lowly. I disagree with that. I think it's better than Arkham City, to be honest. I like it a lot better. You know, it's just, it's a better game. I like Batman just seems like a better character in this. He's not edgy. He's not doubting his teammates. It's really cool. Like, really, really cool. They didn't just chuck it, you know, they didn't just chuck the game out and make his character completely different. So, Asylum gets number one for sure. I think the game had a really good world. It was creepy. It was fun. It had good characters. It had good mechanics had good environments, good lighting. I really liked it. Everything, the asylum was decrepit, creepy, and it really fit with the Batman theme. It wasn't like forced or anything. And all the villains kind of played their parts. No one took the spotlight from the other. Everyone got their own chance to shine, like Joker obviously was the main attraction, but Poison Ivy, Scarecrow, and freaking Zaz even had his own section, which was pretty wild. And also Bane. How could I forget Bane's section? It's incredible. I love the Bane section. People criticize the boss fights. I highly disagree. I think they're some of the best boss fights in the series. Now let's talk about City. Okay, my opinions on City are going to be a little controversial. I feel like... The game gets a little bit too much praise. I like it, but the character of Batman's butchered. He's kind of emo and lame and disinteresting to me. I really don't like his personality. He's detached from his ally from his allies. He's kind of a jerk. He insults them. He's obsessed with a Joker, which is bizarre. Like I never thought Batman should be obsessed with a Joker so weird but the intro was epic Hugo Strange you know being the main villain or at least the promised main villain was super cool I really liked that I liked the penguin segments uh, the Joker steel mill one was okay I thought that was pretty fun minus the fact that Batman acts like an idiot and you know just gets tricked by the Joker I thought that was lame but other than that, I can't really say anything about the beginning. It was a solid opening. I didn't really care for playing as Catwoman. I don't know, her segments kind of just distracted from Batman's. And that's not to insult Catwoman. I think she was brilliantly written and fun to play as, but it would have been nice as a separate side story rather than something kind of messing with it. But I liked it. I liked her parts though regardless I, I don't think she was as fun to play as as Batman but Harley was kind of annoying 
like not charming. I didn't like Tara Strong as Harley Quinn. I thought she was more annoying. The previous voice actress Arlene Sorkin from the show was a lot better to me. I didn't like Harley being this dark emo girl that also felt weird. She's like an emo clown. Didn't like her that much. She was kind of annoying and I don't hate Tara Strong. I just didn't like that performance. Penguin was awesome and you know I just felt like the world wasn't as good as Asylums. It was big and all but I don't know. I didn't like the colors. I didn't like the atmosphere as much. It wasn't as creepy. It felt kind of bland. But I do like the game. It's kind of in the middle for me. I like it, but it just doesn't... It doesn't hit the same stride or strike the same chord. Like, the side quests aren't that interesting. Hush was cool. Some, some of them are really cool. Hush, Deadshot. There, there's cool villain appearances in it, but they had too many villains. First you go from Hugo Strange to Joker to Two-Face... To Penguin, to freaking Mr. Freeze, to Rachel Ghoul, and some of those villains are great, but they went to too many villains. And Joker's death to me was not not well done. I don't feel like Joker should have died in the City. They should have saved that for Arkham Knight. It would have been a lot more interesting had Batman actually killed him instead of sticking to his lame rule. But regardless, I'd say I like City. It's it's kind of middle of the road. At its highest moments, it's really good, but at its lowest moments, it kind of pushes it down to number three. That's kind of controversial there for me to say that. I just didn't like it as much. And that's the truth. Okay, so now we're going to go on to Arkham Origins. Um, this one, a lot of people at first didn't like... They thought it was buggy. The story was boring. They, that's what they thought. They thought the it was basically just Arkham City clone-wise in terms of gameplay is what they think. I disagree. Honestly, Arkham Origins is equal with Asylum for me in terms of how I rate it. It's really good. I love the game. The story is way more emotional. The stakes are way higher. Batman feels like a human being and not a robot who's just there to yell at his sidekicks and yell at Alfred. He feels like a likable character. He doesn't make many as many mistakes. He's a beginner, so he does make mistakes, but he's a beginner. You kind of expect him to. But with City, you don't expect him to because he's been Batman for how many years? And he's falling for the same traps over and over again. It's stupid. But... You had the Deathstroke fight. The relationship with Alfred was really cool. It was like a father-son type thing. I really liked that. They wrote Alfred incredibly well in Arkham Origins. And Ryder Craig Smith is a great Batman. I don't care what anyone says. I love Kevin Conroy, but if someone's going to succeed him, I'd say Ryder Craig Smith should. He sounds a lot like him. And... I liked the combat. The boss fights were at their best in that game. I loved the open world. I liked the snow. It was way more unique to me compared to City. It had lights. You had lit signs. It looked all kind of gussied up and Christmassy. It was kind of cool to see that. And it felt like a good episode of a Batman cartoon. It was entertaining. All the villains were great. I loved... Joker being in it and being Black Mask. I didn't care about that twist. I thought it was fine. I I liked Black Mask in it. He was entertaining. He was threatening and he was cool. He had good one-liners. I liked him. I liked Batman kind of developing as a character and actually having struggles, but actual realistic struggles. And he learns from them in this game, which I really like too. And Alfred, as usual, as I said, great, incredible relationship with Bruce. He's like his dad. That's like literally the best part of the game. It's like the Batman episode in The Batman where, you know, the Bane episode. It reminds me a lot of that and it borrows a lot from that, which is another reason why it's up there. That episode's amazing in that show. I didn't think anything was really bad i liked the gameplay i thought it was really good i didn't see a single issue with it i don't see how it was a clone sure it was a clone of city but big whoop 
the Deathstroke boss fight is one of the best things I've ever played and the Batman video game I loved it it was incredible I just can't get over it it's so good well executed there's like and Deathstroke's super cool I do wish he was in it more though but it's still number one the final showdown's awesome when Batman beats up Joker just a great game Bane, Deathstroke even Lady Shiva, all these characters. Anarchy. So many characters that are obscure were given a spotlight and done so well. I love Arkham Origins. I will never not like it. Gets a 10 out of 10 from me. Same with Asylum. Arkham Knight. Here's the thing. The story is worse. Like, before I go on that, I need to talk about the story of... Arkham Origins a little. You know, you're fighting eight assassins. I dig that story. We see Batman grow as a character. He struggles, but, like, he picks himself back up. We see his relationship with Jim Gordon and how he forges his relationship with the police. First, he has a rocky start with them, but then he improves. I really like that. He fights every villain. They give him a tough time, understandably. Alfred doesn't like seeing his son push himself. They fight, but then... Batman ends up uniting with everybody and they end up beating the villains. It's awesome. I love it so much. Probably should have put a spoilers thing in this in the first place, but now we're going to talk about the story of Night. And that is basically, I love Red Hood, Jason Todd, and I just feel like they did him dirty in this one, but... So basically, after this, Batman's mourning Joker's death, even though I would be celebrating it. Like, why does he care about the Joker? It's so bizarre. He should just kill criminals. It makes no sense to me. They are not friends in my mind. Yeah, that, that part's already a criticism. Uh, the fact that Barbara and Tim get together is terrible. I don't like Tim Drake. I don't like the... They throw many boss fights under the bus. They're not very interesting. The story of Arkham Knight is Scarecrow, which it's great to see Scarecrow get a spotlight, but it's really bad. It's really bad. Like Scarecrow gets barely any screen time. His voice actor was changed, which I don't like his new one as much. He's epic and all, but like it just doesn't fit Scarecrow. And the, there's barely any Scarecrow sections, which, an, which annoys the living crap out of me. The Scarecrow sections were some of the best parts of Arkham Asylum, so that's that's a strike right there. The Arkham Knight being Jason Todd was not a twist at all. Everybody predicted it. Even on the internet, you couldn't not predict who Arkham Knight was. Jason Todd's a great character. I love him. I wish he had his own game. I wish Red Hood did, but... This is his debut for video games? Like, he fakes being Arkham Knight? I thought that was kind of weird. I would have rather had Hush be Arkham Knight. Hush got thrown under the bus. I could, I could list off every villain that went, you know, got thrown under the bus, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it at all. I'm just going to say my final thoughts on it. I like the Batmobile, it's cool, the city's at its best, the gameplay's at its best, but the story is severely lacking, characters act stupid, Batman's dumb in this, he doesn't trust his allies, which he learned to in Origins, and forgets the lesson all of a sudden, it's so stupid. Every character acts dumb, literally, Every villain is just kind of there for 10 seconds in one side mission, then thrown to the, way, to the wayside. It's really bad. I do not like that at all. It's really, really bad. But the gameplay is amazing. Jason Todd's little arc is kind of cool, to be honest. It's cool that he goes and, like, redeems himself. His, all the characters are fun to play as. You've got so many characters you can play as, like Jason... Nightwing, who also was thrown under the bus. It's just a good game. But the story's lacking. I don't care about the story. I don't care. Barbara fake dying. Like, I knew that was Scarecrow Toxin, but I thought the game was still cool, so... I'll give it a 2. Only because of gameplay. City was underwhelming overall. Actually, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a 4. 
it's a good game gameplay wise but it's not enough to revive it so that's my opinion on the Arkham games so I may do more detailed reviews of them in the future but I thought of trying a little experiment of a video.